Pew, pew. Huh? <laughs> Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Hannibal at the Gates, a Syracuse campaign. So, I decided to do a Syracuse campaign because of the faction vote went that way, basically. Um, it was my favourite out of the factions to do, and you guys supported me in that, so thank you very much. Now, the initial challenge is hard, so compared to that of Rome or Carthage, which is easy, the Lysistani and the Avravici, which are both normal, we are going to have a challenge on our hands. So without further ado, I'll click on start campaign, and we've got this thing going. That wasn't really how I envisaged Hannibal. Didn't really imagine him looking like that, but then, you know, I... Meh. Anyway. So I think my where I'm, well, I start off allied with Rome, and I'm not sure I'm going to keep that alliance for very long, because I would like to secure the Sicilian Peninsula so I actually have a province under my control and actually kind of build up a fairly decent navy to try and fend off any attacks and main, and I might even go into the foot of Italy as well we'll see, we'll see but I have been looking forward to this DLC since they announced it mainly like two or three weeks ago <laughs> but I always hope they do something more with Hannibal because it is what got me into ancient history reading about Hannibal and his and the Second Punic War um, yeah. I wish it would load now. Flourish. I believe there is an introduction cinematic which I will leave. I, w I won't talk through that. Come on, you've got like 10% to go. There we go. Hannibal, my son. Stand before the gods and swear from this day until your last that you will always be an enemy of Rome. That elephant looks happy. <laughs> oh. You insult Rome! You! violated the treaty that binds you. Your treaty is unacceptable! I will remind you, the last time Carthage resisted Rome, your fathers were buried in the fields of Sicily. I could have brought it back. <laughs> Those that didn't greet the dirt with open arms, we sent to serve Neptune in the waters of the Agatha. The Mediterranean is undoubtedly ours, not yours. You gifted us whatever scraps of it you held when you and your mercenaries scurried back to your barbaric fishing well, village. Well, Carthage was more than a fishing village, to be honest with you. And I am sent here to ask you to decide between peace and open conflict as if you truly have a choice. Oh! I choose war. War it is. We are the great survivors. We are. Despite the devastation of Sicily through years of war, our city has prospered as an ally of Rome. Well, yes. However, that alliance should persist only whilst it serves our benefit. Agreed. Whilst Rome and Carthage are once again preoccupied with each other, Syracuse will carve out its own space in the world. Good. With little room to maneuver, we must choose our allies carefully. I personally continuing our alliance with Rome would allow I'm us not to focus, going to focus on, North, on Africa North Africa and the gains to be made. Because that there. seems like a pretty powerful army. Well, Carthage is a pretty Switching powerful city to take however, straight away. Would free Syracuse to capture territory on Sicily and the Italian mainland. Carthage would no doubt be very interested in an ally so close to Roman yes. territory. The stakes could not be higher, and it is time for Syracuse to place So, a Syracuse. Okay, so the first thing will be to select what to research. I'm probably going to go with Siege, so if I am besieged in Syracuse, I can at least get some boiling oil. And... 
It's time to make my army a bit better. March. So the minute we've got a couple of light hop lights, hop Ready lights, we can get pikemen, which I'll probably get a couple of units of. I'll recruit more hop lights next time, but I'm going to get some citizen cab as well. Um, I may upgrade my Thank navy. In fact, I probably will. Fleet reporting. So they can have. Yes. Level 2 hulls, which is lovely stuff. And I'm tempted to get some more ships. We could get a tower. Hmm. We're going to need a bigger fleet. There we go. So I'm spending pretty much all of my money on um, war. <laughs> but I will need you to start off with if I'm to stand any hope of, you know, fighting back Rome, which is what I'm planning on doing to start off with. And um, what are our bonus objectives? Be at war with the following faction. Construct the following building in the Odeon. Uh, okay. And what else was there? Was there anything else in the bonus objectives? I'm looking at the wrong thing. And subjugate this faction by capturing their last remaining settlement. Libya. Hmm. So they really want me to go down this way and betray Rome, which I'm going to go against. So everyone pretty much hates me. Rome we don't even have trade with. We can trade, and they are friendly towards me. But that, sh that won't last for long, I can assure you, Rome. What do Hello. You me? Obediendo me a la carta Indeed. So, they've sent their army away. They're really not expecting their ally to turn on them, which is good. Very good for me, at least. I'll keep that army in there as a garrison. And I will just expand this to... Oh, no, wrong one. What do they want me to construct? Hmm. 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 I'm going to go for these subterranean aqueduct. Yes. And I'll keep my navy around here. Probably just keep it in dock for now. Although I would assist in my in the conquest of Liberia, which is going to be my first target. You can probably see from where I've placed my army. So we'll get some more hoplites. I don't have any money. Right. There's no point really getting militia hoplites. I may get some more slingers. Well, get a unit of slingers. And then, time to end the turn again. Now, we don't really have a whole lot of food either. So, taking Sicily will be vital to my early expansion. I'm just hoping Rome doesn't send down its might upon me when I do declare war. That would not go well for me. <laughs> we need good fighters. Okay. So, once they're all recruited, then we shall begin the attack. What kind of garrison do we have in the Syracuse? We've got 14 units, which is quite a lot. Uh, and a lot of them are the mob. Mm -hmm. What do you lead? Just normal hoplites. Okay. And are you the same? Hoplites, yes. Which, to be fair, they're, they're not that bad. They should be able to fight Hestati at least. Ah. Good. Right, so what to research next? Now in terms of economy, we haven't researched anything. Philosophy, construction, we have researched quite a bit. But I may go for a hoplite barracks. Should I? Yes. I need strong infantry to go against strong Roman infantry. Oh, have they recruited them? They have. Ready well, for 
Oh boy, they have a lot of allies. Okay. Ah. Here we go. I think we'll fight it just so I can get a so just so I can get used to fighting a Syracuse because I haven't really fought as a fully kind of Greek faction before. So I'm not really used to fighting with lots of hoplites. I'm just kind of fighting pikemen slightly more because I have done the Egypt campaign, which is still going on. But this will be interesting. I, I'm going against garrison units, so winning it shouldn't really be a major problem. But, yeah, this is just going to be good practice for me. And you can see the units in action. I'm not sure whether Carthage would have been the easier target, but I'm... I'm happy with my decision. I like to have. I like to hold an entire province. And seeing as Syracuse had fought for control of Sicily for, well, a very long time, it's about time they got it. I think. Just hopefully Carthage won't decide to try and take their back, try and take back their lands. Ah, dry, lovely. So we can just run into the town. Right. Groups and awaiting orders. Is ready. I'm creating different ready. groups. I'm creating lots of mini groups because I have lots of different types of troops. I just want to be able to easily select. And then the general just by himself. Hey. Uh, might just go straight through here. That seems like the easiest route. Light hoplites for the flank. Cavalry can stay up there and do a bit of a surprise attack into the settlement itself if I need them. A general. You can come down. The pikemen. Oh, the light hoplites. My my apologies. I selected the wrong group there. Pikemen. Right. Time to get this party started and destroy Rome. Okay, so they're just oh, they're disembarking their navy. So they have levies, principes, ah, and more levies. So the principes will pose a bit of a threat. They're sending their plebs and levies. Rory eye. Okay, so the garrison itself should fall pretty quickly. Let's have a look at some of the troops here. I probably will eventually recruit more pikes, just so I can keep, just so I can keep and pin the Roman units in bay. But light hoplites and normal hoplites should should be should be okay against basic Roman units. Probably not the strongest Roman units. You guys can hold the flank there. Pike can go on. There, off lights can go here, and then the general can support them there. Right, we'll send our cavalry where would be the easiest way in for them. They can go down here. Okay, so we're not quite in range yet, so we'll move them up even more. Probably move the light hoplites around. On the flank. I'm going to try and force them to attack me because that's where I have the best defensive position for my hoplite. Hop oh, we're still not in range. Golly. Okay. So, they're sending levies to take out the light hoplites, are they? Ah. I see what they're doing. Ready and 
So they're getting absolutely pounded. As they should. Friggin' levies think they can stand against the mighty Syracuse. Ooh. So, yeah, they're gone. Hmm, they've actually done quite a smart formation there. I'm surprised. I'll move my missiles forward slightly. This could be interesting. Certainly shaping up to be a bit interesting. A bit more interesting than I anticipated. Send them around on the flank, I think. Now, I know I'm being very wary, even for a garrison army, but against Rome, you've got to be wary in any situation. So those hop trays can go into a hop the tight hop the wall. So they should get screwed. Do you actually think I'm going to attack you there? No. Okay, are they trying to punch through? They, what do they leave there? Some Rory eye. Nope. Halt. Halt, 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 halt. Right. So, okay. Where do they get more of those from? Friggin' levies. time for the cavalry to cause chaos amongst the plebs. Are they all out of ammo? What's your range? No, 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 no. Actually, you can go into the levies. Straight into the levies, Cav. So we're holding them there, but <laughs> I imagine against Principes, the light hoplites are going to have a, a bad time. But I just need to be able to go straight into these. Bring forth the rest of my army. I may send my general around here to assist. Okay, hoplites. So we go out of the wall. Support your comrades. I think I'll keep the cavalry out of this fight because I would like them intact. Hoplites, hoplites do seem quite slow moving, which is a bit frustrating. But oh hum. Okay, so it's starting to stabilise there. We have the hoplite wall, so the Rory and I are confident. Principes are steady, are they? I wonder if they will be when they go up against some pikes. Principes can go into the wall. Okay, basically all the infantry. Oh, crap. And this should slowly go in my favour. Rory I already routing. My general doesn't really have any abilities, which is a shame. But this should all be but done. The Prince pays are now. Oh, they're wavering. Good. They're gone. That went well. I lost 141. Admittedly, it was against a garrison army. But 
if any of you are my current subscribers and you're watching, you know that I hate assaulting settlements. Yay. So we're going to be losing out on trade for quite a while. But that's fine. So if I convert that, convert you as well? No. No. So they have to stay the same for now. Err. Maybe get an extra garrison unit here. Darn. Right. Carthage, will you have some tra no. Welcome, friend. Welcome. Our Ho 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 ho. I've pretty much everyone. I'm going to send them Forming a blockade. and do exactly what he said. Get the blockade and immediately up. send this army out again. None will escape. Syracuse is quite the huge city there. Love it. Oh, darn. Minus the tax is not good. Not good at all. I'm going to keep them there so I can recruit a few units this turn. Is that all? Mm, I need to think carefully about what to recruit. So I've only got a thousand. Uh. Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. There we go. Right. So, we have Hirio the Second, Syracusan general. He's in Liberium. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe how many people were at war with already. Damn Rome and their allies. Damn them, but Sicily must be secured for the future of Syracuse. And I can probably start converting bit by bit. Ready for battle. We take this settlement. We take this settlement. Bow, bow. What do you wish of me? I think we're disrupt oh we can't do anything. Might as well send him into Rome. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in Croton. Right. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. So I hope you all enjoyed part one. If you have, make sure to give it a like. And do all that subscribe to the business. And uh, hopefully in part two, we'll secure the Sicilian Peninsula. So until next time, everyone, I bid you a good day.